Nobody said one, not a single person. Okay. Usually what it means, be careful, right? It's always like that, right? In January, when I posed this question in January and we were here, there were a lot of ones, same question. A lot of ones, same. probably most of you were at, the, at that webinar in January. Today, nobody said one. So be careful not to chase the market, right? Kind of this herd mentality, right? Where you're following, you're following the tape, right? And the tape goes up, you're buying, tape goes down the sun, but you're always the last person in line, right? Very hard to trade like that. You know, I propose you, you're, you're in one camp or the other camp, right? Soft landing or, you know, recession. You might have to reevaluate every quarter which camp you want to belong to, right? But you start the year with the idea market is going to be at certain data point, right? It's going to break 52 week low or it's not going to break. And then everything follows, right? At some point, you know, obviously when the downtrend was broken and I was wrong, right? That we broke the downtrend. I had to go back to the whiteboard and figure out like, okay, do I have any data to support for me to switch to a different camp? And the answer was no, right? Just like the answer is not really no right now. So just something as an observation. I am gonna go with three. I know we had half twos, right? Half people say two, which reflects the, you know, if you ask 100 professional traders, if you ask 100 market makers, if you ask 100, you know, money managers, 100 economists, you're going to get the same answer. Half of the people say soft landing, half of the people say hard landing because we don't really have a clear cut. And that's what makes this whole business exciting, interesting, but also, you know, obviously uh, a lot of uncertainty, a lot of uncertainty. So I am going to go with three, right? Very basic principle. I think as long as interest rates are higher for longer, you know, finance 101, Companies cannot grow, right? The, the earnings growth will decelerate. It's already negative in Q4. It will be more negative in Q1. It will be more negative in Q2. And if that's true, we're going to be in recession and unemployment will tick up and uh, market will collapse. Not collapse, but market will pull back significantly. Well, market will pull back significantly. Uh, so that's my rationale. Again, it's, it's the interest rates, right? If two-year yield, if money market is going to yield 5%, very simple, like why even take the risk, right? S&P on average returns 7%. You know, money market pays you 5%. It's guaranteed. You're guaranteed to get 5% for at least next 12 months. Why would I put money into equity market, right? That doesn't make any sense to me. And a lot of people feel this way, right? A lot of people feel this way. So the longer money market yields 5%, the longer you know people are going to shy away from the equity and rotate into the money market funds 